Greg, DIY RVing Home, Camper's Life. Today, I gotta take care of an issue before it gets really any worse. And that's on my Dodge Ram. And if we take a peek inside, over there on the far side, you can actually see what looks like kind of like a water stain. Well, it is a water stain. And for some of those that have the Dodge Ram, you know what this is. Uh, or you're doing the search on YouTube trying to figure out why. Well, uh, what it is is this third brake light up here has a tendency to leak. And what we're going to do today is we're going to correct that. We're going to actually seal it off. Now, some of the stuff I've got to do this with is I've got some silicone. And this happens to be the ProFlex RV silicone that I'm going to be using. Then I've got some acetone. I'm going to be using that to clean up. I've actually got some hydrogen peroxide that I'm going to use to try to help get rid of that uh, nasty stain I've got. Of course, we've got paper towels and something I found underneath our sink, which is a sonic uh, scrubber. We'll try that out inside. So anyways, I'm going to get up here. Oh, we also need a screwdriver. So let's go grab one of those too. Now, me, I always keep tools on hand, so there's my screwdriver set. So let me get up on top and we'll get this thing going. All right, now if we take a look, real close look, you can see it's already had silicone or something in there before. It's actually fairly hard, so I'm not sure what it, what they use, but you can see how it's cracked out. Okay, so right there, especially water leak, and I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So I'm gonna pull my screwdriver out. We're gonna get this opened up and see what we got. And actually, kind of if you look inside, it almost looks like there is some uh, discoloration or. Uh, the reflective has kind of come off. Now I have to go uh, get to. Uh, Something to looks like pry that back. Go get a utility knife to see if I can't cut it or something. Anyways, uh, I don't just want to put silicone right over the top of it and call it good. I'd like to get in there and boy, whatever it is, it's hard. Look at that. That's part of it. There, well, right there, you can see I got a little bit of movement in it. All right, well, like I say, let me get some uh, other tools. I don't want to mess up the paint. But yet I don't want to. There we go. Okay, let me work on it. I'll come back and uh, show you my results. All right, for me, it was actually a little bit easier than I thought. Um, I was working on trying to get this uh, released, but then I just came from underneath and a little bit of a pry, and it looks like it's coming off, so we're gonna go that route. So let me get that out. We'll just lift, it, lift this up. And pull. Now let's take a look at what we got here. And you can see the dirt and grime and everything like that. And we can see what looks like water pulling. And that is it. And then this foam rubber that's supposed to seal it, which it doesn't. Unfortunately, our light bulbs, um, you know, you have to replace them every now and then. And we're going to be sealing it in. So it um, looks like one of them might be toast as it is. Uh, so let's uh, address that first and then we'll clean all this up and get it uh, sealed up. So I'm in the process of cleaning off this gunk that's on here and I'm kind of noticing something. Now I'm using acetone to 
try to soften it up and then get it off. Like I said, it's, it, it's a hard, it feels hard <laughs> what it looks like, and I think it is. It's actually uh, hot glue is what it is that they use to try to seal this. Um, just a word of advice. Don't use hot glue on your vehicle to try to seal something. It doesn't work. But it, in the end, it is starting to clean up. Now you can actually see that they have done some damage digging on it right here. And I am, with the little bit of silicone that I'm going to be putting on, uh, making sure that's all covered. Now I'm going to be putting a very light coat, you know, hopefully just enough just to seal this off. But yet if I ever have to remove it, I can. And I'm only going to seal around the edges right here. And I'll leave this open as it should be if water comes down. That's what the intent was, that it gets trapped in this and then it goes runs off to the side at least that's what I'm hoping we'll monitor it but um, I was going to put some LED bulbs in here and then I really won't have to worry about having to change them for quite some time but my local joke of a parts store uh, didn't have uh, the proper style LEDs now they had LED bulbs in you know well a few sizes they had a wall full of where they were supposed to be, and there was none there. And it's not because everybody is buying them. It's because they don't stock the garbage that they should be stocking. So I've got regular ones. So that's why I'm going to just put a little bit of silicone. So anyways, thought I'd bring you back and tell you. Yeah, don't use hot glue. Um, it's at, Oh, look at that. It's actually, yeah, it's softening up since the sun's come out. So... Onwards, upwards. I'm going to keep uh, getting this uh, cleared off. I'll have to clear the lens off, the backside of the lens, and then I can put it all back together. All right, so since I did see this feels like and looks like it is uh, hot glue, which, I mean, you can see how much easier it is to start getting off. I'm going to go ahead and add a little heat. Don't want to get too hot because I don't want to mess up the paint. But I just want to add some heat, soften this up, and that way it'll be easier to scrape off. Well, we've got this cleaned up to the point that I'm happy and I can go ahead and put a little bit of silicone. Yeah, it's down to bare metal some spots. Um, I'm not going to do a repair on that today. I will schedule that for a future uh, project, um, but the silicone will help to protect it. I just want to get this done because, uh, of course, as you can see, we do have clouds in the sky. There's potential for, <laughs> I might say, a shower or two. And I don't want to get any more water inside. So I'm going to go jump down on the light right down here and get all this cleaned up before I uh, go ahead and put it back together. And you can see it's starting to get hot. And like I did say, I did pick up some new bulbs, so I'm going to put some new bulbs in. Um, one of them was bad, of course, and then the other ones, I don't know how old they are, so might as well put some new ones in and then hopefully get a few years before I have to do anything, or at least until I do decide to uh, go ahead and do the repairs right here on the paint. So I'm going to hop down, get in the shade a little bit, and work on that uh, light cover. So I've got new bulbs in. We're going to go ahead and... I'm all ready to go in, just like that. It actually looks like that it's supposed to sit right there. It wasn't when uh, I took it apart. Well, there we go. So now we're going to take some silicone. Yes, this one's destined for the garbage can when it's when we're done. It's made it through. A few projects, so we're going to wipe that off. We've got, let's get uh, a rag soaked with some acetone. And that's just to clean up my hands. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Gloves, safety Nazis. Again, we're going to come around. And we're just going to put some along the edge. You can see I left that foam gasket there. It's going to help a little bit. So I'm just going to take and Squeeze out some, put it on my finger. 
and I'm just going to kind of walk around the edge. Once I get it done like that, then we'll jump up top and we will put her back on. Okay, I did get the connector uh, connected back up for the lights. Now we're just going to go ahead and put it back on. Last but not least, I'm going to come back and actually make sure all those holes are filled. Can't do it with uh, one hand, so I will bring you back when I got it done. All right, we've got the first part of the repair done. Now I'm going to let the silicone set up some more. Um, I've already wiped some of it off, and you can see there's a little bit of uh, like white little burrs that's in it. I'm going to clean that up and then. Uh, show you the finished product but I've got it sealed completely through. I've done some wipe down to get rid of some of the residual lying around. Now it's time to jump in and work on the passenger side uh, up there the headrest area. All right so I've done a little bit of work right here with just that sonic cleaner just trying it out to see how it's going to work. Here it is right here. If they actually have it available on Amazon, I will uh, link it. It's been a while since we've got this. So, anyways, here we go. I'll show you what we're doing. So that's what I'm doing right there. I'm going to continue on and then I will come back when I get her done, show you how it looks. There it is. Got it cleaned up a little bit now. I know there's still a little bit there. I'm not a detail guy for automotive, so if there's somebody out there that knows a good way to uh, help uh, remove or get rid of that uh, stain, please uh, leave a comment below, let me know. Um, and now I'm pretty sure that uh, I've got her sealed up all the way around all three edges, so we're not gonna get any water in there anymore. Finish letting her dry and then I got to come back and do some cleaning. Uh, but uh, other than that uh, <laughs> tip, don't use uh, hot glue to uh, use as a seal or to water tight anything. And if you have one of these trucks, be a good idea to get up there and double check and see that. Now I did mine with silicone um, and I can just go in and take a little utility knife and just Scribe it, pull it off, um, but that's how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to replace what replace that little foam that comes with it, just because it's going to happen again. At least silicone is it'll uh, be a little bit better protecting. Anyways, if you guys got something out of this video, if you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And until the next uh, repair, happy camping.